The most important aspect of law today is statutory law. In the old days, the um, um, Methuselah's days, when I was learning law, uh, it was the common law and the judge declared law uh, that comes up through the common law system. But today, uh, with the huge output of legislation from uh, federal parliament, from state and territory legislatures, from local government ordinances and uh, judicial rules, there's so much written law and therefore that is the most important aspect of the work uh, of lawyers and of the courts. Uh, and this is a book that tries to give a completely up-to-date uh, statement of the principles and approaches that the courts of Australia and elsewhere have taken on that most important and puzzling question. What on earth does the Act of Parliament mean? Well, certainly international law has become uh, more significant and where a, 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 a convention or an international treaty has been incorporated into national law, then it's part of our law. Uh, a controversy exists which is highlighted in the book as to how in other circumstances lawyers and judges can use international law when it hasn't been specifically incorporated. But it certainly can uh, assist uh, the courts, as it did in the great Marbo decision, uh, to look afresh at the common law principles and to examine statutory principles to make sure that, generally speaking, they are consistent with international law. So this is a big change. It's a change that's happened in my lifetime, and I expect uh, there to be more of the same. I think international law will grow in importance as the world's um, institutions, the, the United Nations and other transnational institutions, play an increasingly important part in our lives and in our law. It's controversial because the High Court of Australia and other great courts have said repeatedly that it's a big mistake for lawyers to start analysing the actual words of a judicial opinion, you know, reasons of the judge, in the same way as you would analyse uh, the precise words of a statute or of the Constitution. Judicial reasons are more discursive, they're, they're less drafted with precision so that every word doesn't count in the same way that uh, is the case in legislation. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, judicial reasons do provide the way of explaining and finding and declaring what the common law is. And therefore, if you're looking at uh, the work of a lawyer, part of that work is taken up in analysing the federal constitution or the statute, uh, statutes of our federal parliament or the state and territory parliaments, but uh, part of it is trying to analyse the reasons of the judge in order to find the rule which exists in those reasons uh, that will be binding on courts and binding on the community. So that um, if you are looking, as we are in this uh, study of interpretation, at what the law is, mostly today the law is what Parliament has enacted, but still in part the underlying bedrock of our legal system remains and you therefore have to find what the law is from judicial reasons and therefore it is useful in the one book to have guidance uh, and reference to how you do that, how you find what the law is. Most of it is statute, some of it is still common law and it's all in this book. It's a wonderful book. Everyone should have it. Outside of law, well, I spend a lot of time in the United Nations system. Part of that is by reference to international law, but part of it is by reference to the practices that have developed uh, and the efforts of good people working in the United Nations to help 
other uh, people deal with uh, global problems. Uh, for example, I'm shortly going to uh, Malawi for the first meeting of a new global commission on sustainable health. What are the issues that are going to confront humanity in this century uh, that make sure that people actually have the right to access to the best available health care? Uh, what will they mean? It's not just drugs and treatment, it's also preventing disease and preventing uh, infection. Preventing and reducing the use of cigarettes, for example, is a major issue. So that uh, health care and translating the great principles of the United Nations treaties, which are, I suppose, law, but translating them into action on the ground and making sure that uh, children uh, and women and other disadvantaged groups have access. That's an important passion for me, as is uh, animal welfare uh, and also the rights of sexual minorities, GLBT people. So there's plenty to do out there and uh, then in a tiny little part of my life I can find time for music and uh, J.S. Bach and the eternal composers. I'm so much in planes that I'm hooked into my, uh, my um, uh, music and I listen to uh, music and uh, that is always a great joy. Thank you.